So media site is a wonderful way to capture content, capture your classes for students who um, need to miss a class or if you if, if they need to review something for an exam, for example. Media site integrated into the classrooms makes it incredibly easy to do this. Um, and I'm actually going to cover some ways to make your media site uh, lecture capture the absolute best that, that it can be for your students and participants. So there's three areas that I'd like to focus on for these best practices. There's your content, your audio, and your video. So let me start with content best practice. So your content is your presentation. It could be your PowerPoint, your Excel, um, your document camera that you may be using. It could be your whiteboard content. It's the con your, your instructional content, the content you're teaching. So the way MediaSite works is that it captures anything that's going through the projector. So this means that any content that you're presenting through the projector, which is from the lectern or from your laptop, is going to pick up beautifully in, in MediaSite. So that's really what you want to try to do for your content, is use digital inputs. And a digital input also includes uh, the document camera, because although that is a what feels like an analog kind of an input, it's actually picking it up digitally and sending it through the projector. So that is the best way to get the best possible content for MediaSite. We encourage you not to use the whiteboard, because obviously that's not a digital input. And what happens with the whiteboard is that that's actually being picked up by the camera on the back wall. And the camera on the back wall just is not uh, close enough, really, for it to pick up your, your writing on the whiteboard. So all of this wonderful whiteboard content that you have in your classes your students are not able to see that when they're watching it, watching it later on. And that's particularly the case when you use the, the side whiteboards. One, one more point about the content. Um, showing a video in the classroom works wonderfully for the people in the classroom, but it actually doesn't pick up very well when it's being recorded because of differences in, in the speed. So just bear that in mind if you're showing if you're showing video that it may not pick up very well in your media site capture. Okay, the second area that I'd like to talk about is your audio. Each classroom is equipped with a wireless microphone. Uh, they should be, if you pull out the drawer on the lectern, they should be sitting there behind the um, keyboard. If they're not there or if the battery is low, then you should definitely call the classroom hotline and someone will be by to help you with that. So the wireless mic gives, will give you the absolute best audio pickup for the media site. Um, and it actually will also help you with your audio, re your voice reinforcement in the classroom as well. The lecterns have a button mic as well, um, but this really, the, the uh, wireless microphone really works the best. And then for the students, there's actually microphones in the ceiling to pick up the, um, your students when they're asking or answering questions. Uh, the second point I'd like to make about audio is that once MediaSite starts recording, it's just going to record for the duration that it's been set up for. So if you have any sort of a private conversation with a student about grades or, or whatever it may be, before, uh, during, or after class, that, that will also be picked up in the recording. So, so just bear that in mind that you are being recorded. So the last area that I'd like to talk about is the video, which is basically you standing up in front of the classroom. The way the classrooms are outfitted with MediaSite, the camera, there's only one camera and it's focused to the front of the room. We're not recording the students, we're not recording the audience at all. The camera is on you. Um, it's, it's a best practice to try not to turn away from the camera, which is another reason not to write on the whiteboard and to use the front-facing um, tools that you have for your content. And the second point I'd like to make is that the cameras are actually, there's a tracking camera. So there's one fixed camera. If you look back, you'll notice there's a fixed camera and then there's a tracking camera. And actually, as you, as you're at the lectern, there's a mat that you step on, which I'm sure you've noticed. And when you step off that, the tracking camera will actually follow you based on picking up the audio. 
So you can move around the room, as you probably noticed in, in the uh, media center recordings, and the tracking camera will follow you. And if you have any questions about any of these items, then you should feel free to contact us and we're happy to help you. Thank you very much.